Hi, welcome to Jeff's Kitchen. Today, I, it's just something simple I'm making. I have here carrots. As you can see, it's about uh, one and a half kilo. Um, I'm making sweet dessert, a gujarela. So I've just peeled them and then cut them quite thick. I left, so they're gonna get boiled for at least and maybe hot, uh, 45 minutes to an hour. And once they boil and the water's dried, then I'm going to crush them and I'll show you the next. Let's check it out. Oh yes, the water's dried, guys. Let's see if they boil. Yes, they're done. And now I'm going to crush them with the, the wooden crusher like this. And it's quite easy actually, you don't have to do the in the grinder. I prefer it like this, it's more tastier. Crush this, mash it just like the mashed potatoes, and then I'll show you the next. Now, as you can see, the water's all dried and I crushed it all. I'm gonna add a bit of oil in there, the same oil I use in other things, some sour oil. I'm gonna add that bit in there. That should be enough. And then I'm gonna stir it. And cook this about at least another, you know, 20 minutes or 15 minutes. And then, then I'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay. I'm gonna add my double cream. This Tesco double cream. I'm going to add two of them in there. I'm going to add both of them. Dry. I'm going to cook this at least for another half an hour and let this dry and then I'm going to put my other ingredients in there. Right, as you can see I'm stirring, still it's been 10-15 minutes. As you can see the oil's coming off. I'm going to continue doing this for another 10 minutes or 15. And then after that, I'm going to add my sugar in there and another few things. Right, as you can see, all the oil is come up. Now, I'm going to add some sugar in there. Right, I'm going to add some sugar in there, about three, uh, five, six. That's, that's about it. That's about two, two, three handfuls. And I'm also going to add in some Turkish halwa. Turkish halwa means it's Ottoman Turkish halwa, uh, which is replacing a koya, which is exactly like a koya. Very tasty, very nice, and it'll give a really nice flavor. That's how it looks like. And you just add the, these cubes in there, like that. It's just like a koya, and some really nice it'll give a really nice flavor it's a turkish ottoman halwa it's called a turkish halwa both a choice ka flavor hai aap usko try karna har mein bhi aur sab ko try karana as you can see it's changed color You can add all your other ingredients like um, other almonds and badam, pista. Then we will add Now it will cook a little more. I'm going to add, I'm going to cook a bit more for another 5-6 minutes. Just like this. Right, as you can see, it's a bit of a reddish color. 
Um, I read a bit of uh, guard juice in there. And I'm going to add some al almonds. I like having them lots and lots and lots of them. Quite nice. As you know, I did add um, Turkish halva. The, it's called Atman halva. And I'm going to add a bit more to it. And I'm going to add that on top. We just got pistachio in there. This brings really nice flavour to the halva. Our halva. As this one, it's got pistachio in there. I'm gonna add just one or two pieces on top. You don't have to melt it. Like that. And a bit more. Mm, I hope you like this. It's, it is really easy to make, nothing hard. I hope you like this and please do subscribe and share and I hope you do comment and I'm going to taste this as well. Oh, that looks really nice. Mm. Oh my god. The flavouring is really nice with this halwa, this Turkish halwa. And do try this at home. Please like and share and subscribe my channel. And I hope, I look forward to hear, hear from you. And try this halwa at home. This is really tasty. And inshallah I will see you in the next video with something different.